Alrighty legends, as promised, here's a little walk around video of this um, big F250 Lariat. It's a 20, uh, 2022 model uh, Lariat with a sports black appearance package. I think it also has the snow plow package as well with the F350 rear leaf springs. Um, meaning that we actually haven't changed the leafs over. We've done a, a Kali uh, pin top leveling kit uh, but retaining factory leafs. Um, we have put a one inch um, packer in the rear as well um, that matches up to the airbags. Uh, this is 30, 37 inch tires. Uh, it does suit it, it fits really, really well. It's a very practical height for these big cars. Um, they can become very, very tall and top heavy and balloony on the road when you start jacking them up too high. So the perfect number is a two inch lift kit. Um, the 37s fit it with ease then like then again guys if you're not doing anything crazy uh, 35 inch tire will be more than adequate for touring and and pulling the big van around uh, just the 37 seems to seems to fit and fill the guard a little bit more they're such a big car um, yeah so anyway we haven't actually touched performance yet we are getting a fair bit of stuff done under the hood of that soon um, through the team at DPU and GNL um, gonna do a bit of a bit of a power tweak but you almost wouldn't need it it is uh it is just out off the showroom floor how they come with around 1400 newtons um is is just phenomenal how much power they've got they sort of drive around without even knowing any of this gear is on there so uh, as it sits guys without the tinny and without the outboard it was four and a half ton um so that's a 4.1 meter cj um, Creek Master, it would weigh probably around 150 kilo uh, and then a 50 kilo outboard as well so it's, it should be sitting around 4.7 4.8 ton uh, right there uh, being an F250 obviously they come in with a GVM of 4495 on an NB1 car license we have done a GVM upgrade to this moving it into an NB2 it is uh, at max capacity 5200 kilos uh, basically maxing out your front and rear axle capacity. So 5,200 kilos mean it's an MB2 uh, light truck license, that sort of stuff. So <coughs> um, ball weight on and uh, fill, put a bit of stuff in that canopy and uh, you're going to be right on that limit for an F250. So most of you guys wanting to do this sort of layout, you really need to go to that F350 with the larger rear axle capacity leaf springs and that don't really matter we change out the leafs and and all that on an f350 as well so it's more the rear axle capacity that needs to be increased so with with an f350 we can uh, look up uh, a bit over five and a half ton sort of closer to 5800 um, which obviously gives you uh, oodles of spare payload capacity rhino backbone on top guys um, the, the backbone is the only option for the Rhino Rack range. We can't just do standard leg mounts. We uh, quite typically do the swivel brackets on the on the larger cars. And we've got a solar panel up there too. The little steady rock lights work super, super cool on these backbones. Just made to be, they're meant to be. They actually sell a kit that uh, mount these through those holes in the backbone, which ends up looking really sleek. Deluxe canopy by uh, Norworld Australia. We've done our normal interior fit out carpet roof insulation paneling 200 amp lithium with the red arc red vision system everything here is uh it's not it's not exactly customizable guys we've made these packages to suit and work every single time our wiring looms are pre-made now uh, so panels are completely removable everything's on Deutsch connectors behind the panels all that sort of stuff so the only thing we can change is we can increase battery capacity and we can increase DC charging capacity. So if you want to go up to 400 amp hours, uh, then we will obviously add a secondary DC charger into that as well. Bushman 130 litre upright fridge and a 20 horse uh, Mercury airport on the back. Boss aluminium awning. Again on our custom fab brackets, front and rear. We do, a, we do a set exclusive to the Almac boat loader. And obviously all awnings have, have uh, different bolt patterns as well. So we've got um, set brackets to suit certain awnings. Inside is pretty much uh, totally factory as they come. 
This one's had the sixth seat mod done by uh, the crew at Harrison's or VDC. And uh, we've done the, um, sorry, the safety day of UHF inside. And we've put two cameras at the back here. One down a little bit lower there, shooting straight on the general hitch. And uh, that's that's done by our team there. So it's not sort of something off the that you can buy off the shelf. We sort of did that to hide a lot of the the nothingness behind there. And um, how does it go? How does it feel? It feels absolutely amazing considering the size and the weight of it. It's uh, it's quite different compared to the the smaller Jap cars when you start pulling and driving around this much weight. They handle it just so easy so if this sort of thing you know if you want to be carrying or loading up a canopy that sort of size and a boat that sort of size um, you need to step into this sort of market um, off-road creative bull bar on the front with some steady lights we've got a 17,000 pound Sherpa winch in there as well and uh, yeah if you've got any questions this one was converted by the crew down at VDC in Victoria, and they do an extremely good job. Very, very happy with the conversion. This is our second one now from VDC, and um, can't fault them, so credit to you guys, you've done an amazing job. Can't wait to see this one out on the road, or off the road, should I say. Well done, mate. Guys, like I said on all of our other videos, if you've got any questions specific to this car, please um, give the office a call. If you don't get through the office, please email. Email is always best for us. We can get back to emails wherever we are. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching, eh?